lost count. I actually lost count. Was that the third exit? All good? Yeah. Okay. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Zaman and today I'm doing a mock test with Hamid. Now this is the first time we've met. And how many hours of driving lessons did you say you've done? Two hours. Two hours, but you have done mock tests prior to this. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, he's done two other mock tests with two other instructors online. How was that? Would um, you say you learned from those? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Now with both of those mock tests, you were in completely different areas from where you're used to driving anyways. Yeah. And again, today we're in a completely different area. New car, new area. Quite busy here. It is a little bit busy just near the station, but otherwise it's usually okay. All right, so you know how a mock test is conducted. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to tell you how today will go? Or are you happy to just go straight into it? Tell me. Okay. So throughout the drive, I will tell you whenever I need you to turn. I want you to keep going straight if I don't say anything. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do... The drive will be about 38 to 40 minutes in total. Um, bit of independent driving, which is where I'm going to get you to follow some signs. We're going to do one manoeuvre and we may also carry out the emergency stop, similar to everything we've done in the past. Okay. Now, um, before we get started, I am going to ask you a tell me question at the beginning. And then whilst you're driving, I will ask you a show me question on the go as well. All right. Okay. <clears throat> before we get started, the tell me question, could you tell me how would you know if there was an issue with your power steering? Power steering? Yeah. Power steering. So when the, when the car is off, when the car is off, it should feel like stiff, like not moving a lot. Okay. And then once I turn it on, it should be easy to move. Okay. It should be like, so if it's stiff, so I know there's a problem with it. Okay. All right. Um, no. You're happy with the layout of everything? You know what you're doing? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So um, for anyone that's new to watching these videos, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new and select that bell icon so that you get a notification every time that I upload. When you're ready, let's get started. We're going to make our way to the end of this road and make a left turn, okay? basically pressed it twice. Oh, this one? Yeah. For real? Yeah. There you go. Car's on. Okay. So why is it coming up? Pull. <laughs> okay. So up to the end. Just that to get... And then turn left. Never been in a busy zone. Just time. go right up to the end of the road, it will help yeah, you. Okay. Okay. And 
left at this roundabout, okay? It's busy today. <laughs> it's quite busy. Gosh. It's because the sun's come out after so many days of being freezing oh. cold. <laughs> Second set of traffic lights, turn left. As we're travelling downhill, it's a good idea to put your foot over on the brake to control the speed to go into this new road, especially as you can see there are lots of pedestrians on the pavement, and plus we don't know what's happening in the new road. Still down there because I had my foot in the brakes. I was trying to get to the bike, but it's kind of stalled. Hamid deals with this hazard really well. He's checking his mirrors towards the right, making sure there's nobody overtaking from his right. He's also keeping the car really slow, but it's definitely a good idea to use a right indicator at this point to make it very clear to drivers behind, in front, and for the truck drivers. While driving along this road, some pedestrians stepped out in front of us from behind a parked vehicle. They were crossing the road quite casually in front of us and Hamid did see this, but he did not make any attempt to slow down by braking. And he gets a dangerous fault for this and you should always slow down when there are pedestrians in the road as they are vulnerable and you want to make sure you take control early. The next road on your right please. The road that we're turning into is actually a one-way road and we can see this with the road marking and the signs on the entry of this road. Before the entry Hamid put the clutch down but did not use the brake. This is coasting and you don't want to be doing this as you have less control over the vehicle and it's harder to slow down. All right at the end of this road turn left please. I want you to do now is when we get to those traffic lights, I'd like you to turn left.
turn left there, yeah. So we're just going into the car park. Turn right into any one of these. That a front? Yeah, just turn right into one of these lanes, any one. So turn right there? Yes, please turn right into there. Right, Hamid, what I want you to do now yeah. is to forward park into a space of your choice. Make sure you finish within the white lines of the bay, any of these bays. See on a forward park? Mm -hmm. Kind of like. Kind of like. You see when I kind of like reverse into it? Like kind of, kind of cross the line? You can adjust here, yeah. Like kind of cross the line? Before starting to reverse Hamid, make sure there's nobody around him by thoroughly looking over his left and right blind spot. He is in the space from the sides, but the front of his car is slightly over the white line. Even by the end, his front tyre was on the line. Can I put the mirrors down? Yeah, whatever you need. You happy to leave it there? Yep. Okay. Reverse that whenever you're ready. Reverse that. Yeah. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, I'm not happy to leave it there. Okay. Can I try one? Yeah, you can adjust it. Fine, don't worry. When you're ready, we're going to reverse out of here okay. and just head out the car park. We're going to start the independent driving from here. I'm going to give you some directions to follow. As we go down this road, when we get to the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right. It's the third exit. Third exit? Yeah. See that? Um... Because the gas pedal is so sensitive, yeah? When my foot is on it, I just, I don't even realise. But right, what is it again? Third exit, right. Third exit, right. So we're following signs to Harrow on this one again. If you find roundabouts confusing, the best thing to do is firstly select the correct lane and as soon as you enter, count the exits out loud. And most people tend to miscount and forget to count the first exit. So count the exits as you see them and make your way towards the left before your exit. Hamid has a bit of a hard time on this roundabout. Definitely too. I've lost count. 
Oh, actually, that's kind of fun. Is that the third exit? Yeah, Do you want to save again? Yeah, of course. So, so wait, so where was the second one? I did not see it. Just we'll just go around again. So from here, think of it as you're taking the fourth exit, that one being the first. Okay? okay? Second, basically. Yeah. Second. Is that my exit there? That's third. Right. Yeah, I knew it. You okay? Is that safe and good? Hamid demonstrates perfectly how to take the third exit on this roundabout. As soon as he enters, he's keeping his left tyre with the white line and at this point he's now starting to check his mirrors towards the left and spiralling into the left hand lane and switching on a left indicator to take the exit. And then turning left. To turn right at these traffic lights, there are two lanes. Hamid goes into the overtaking lane, which is not a concern provided you turn in that lane. 
As Hamid's taking this turn, he goes a bit too fast and swings over towards the left with a car present. He gets a serious fault for this. Hamid had only had about two hours of driving lessons and two mock tests. Now he hasn't really practiced a lot on roads like this, so he does struggle to slow down and make turns into narrow entrances, especially when you can't see into the road. He generally doesn't slow down enough, and this is where we need the most control. And if you could take the first road on your right just here. And if you could park up on the left, just before the tree, but on the road, okay? Just here in this okay. space, yeah. Literally just stop right there. That's okay, well, thank you. All right, so what I'm gonna get you to do now is shortly I'm gonna get you to carry out the emergency stop. As you're driving down this road, when it's safe, I'm gonna look around and give you this signal, stop. I want you to react by stopping the car as quickly and as safely as possible, but wait for my signal before you stop the car, okay? Drive off when you're ready. Drive off when you're ready. And turn right just in here. That's the end of your test. How was your drive today? Um, not good. Okay, so unfortunately it wouldn't be a pass, okay? Um, you just, you haven't had enough practice. You need to drive some more and get that confidence up, okay? Because moving off, yeah, fine. We stalled a few times, no worries. The major issues for me were, you know when we did that right turn? Right turn, yeah. There was a traffic light right turn. Yeah. So when you moved off, you were in the right hand lane, so you're in the overtaking lane. As you're making that turn, you were turning correctly, but then you're checking this left mirror, which is fine, yeah. but then you're also moving in that direction as oh, you're doing yeah. it. And there was a white Prius, I think it was. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh... No, you should have just taken that turn tighter. Yeah? Would you agree with that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, that right turn again into the small road. Oh yeah, I rushed it to be honest. That was, that was really fast. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of control. And then as soon as you turned in, we're too close to that parked car. 
You haven't had a lot of practice on these small roads, have you? Uh, to be honest, I haven't because I've been driving on big roads. That, yeah. That, that's why. The thing is, I, right? Big roads, nice and easy. There's see, nothing going on. Yeah, but that's um, also cool. But that's why I'm going to do my test as well. So. What on big roads? Huh? All, all on big roads? Um, yeah. Okay, but what about afterwards when you're driving in South London? When you have to turn into a side road to park your car, what are you going to do then? I my license. <laughs> nah! Okay, you want to make sure you nail these small roads, you know how to slow and control your car, because that's really the key thing. That control, because once you've got that control, you can deal with anything. Okay? Um, or you, you're kind of used to coasting a little bit, which happened yeah, like yeah. on two or three of the turns. And... Like, it's just so busy that like, I'm not used to being... That so, you know, you know when you're about to turn into a side road, if yeah. you can't see into that road, what I would do is I would just focus on slowing, clutch, and sl get, just get to a speed yeah. that you feel comfortable. Don't just turn in. Yeah. There's no rush to going in because you don't know what's going on in that road. Yeah? Safety when moving off, that was good. Like, if I said to you, turn left, turn right, you're checking your mirrors, it's all great. But when we got to the bigger roads, you know when we had to do that lane change on the dual carriageway? Yeah. That, it didn't feel like you were confident with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're checking, you can see who's there, but then you're not acting on what you see. You, you, all you needed to do with that first car was just speed up a bit more and just move over. You don't always have to slow down, do you? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? The second big roundabout where we were taking that third exit right turn yeah. perfectly executed the roundabout itself. That first one where we were taking the third exit, you know, the one we looped. Whoa. Wait, wait, did I do it right? Okay, there were two big roundabouts, right? Yeah. The second one, perfect. The first one where we went round again, it was okay to go round again, but as we're going round, I said, okay, look, think of this as your first yeah. exit and we're gonna take four, which is over here. As we were going round, you're, you're counting one and then you're like, oh wait, are we taking that exit? I said, no, that's two. And then we're going round and you said, are we taking that exit? I said, no, that's three. So you just need to count. If you can go that way, that's an exit. So uh, go one, two, and then, yeah. Wait, did, I, wait, did I do it right? You did do it right by the oh. end, but it's just, you weren't confident in yourself. Yeah, I mean, in terms of knowing, yeah. okay, that's my exit, checking mirrors, get to that position. But that's just lack of practice. You just need to get out there and drive some more. But yeah, you just need to get some more practice, that's all. But you're, kind of, you're coming along, but I would do a few lessons before you go out and just do a test again. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, that is the end of today's mock test. Hopefully you have enjoyed this and learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe. Is there anything you want to add to this? You're happy with that? Yeah? Brilliant. Bye, guys.